Okay, let's look at this next question. Uh, now remember I told you to find the equation of a line, you need the slope and a point. Alright, that's what we did in the previous question. Now this question has two points, it doesn't have the slope, so you have to find the slope. Now for some of you who might have seen this before, there is a slope equation. So I'll just switch to the other page here. Right, here we go. So here's my two points, all right, that were in the previous question, negative 3, 1. Now I'm going to call that the first x and y set of coordinates, and the 4, negative 5 I'll call the second x, y coordinates. Now here's the slope formula. The slope m equals the difference in y's, okay, so remember how we did slope when you're graphing, you go, you know, how far do you go up and along to get to another point? Well here it is, here's the difference in y's, y2 minus y1 divided by the difference in x's, okay, the rise over the run. So, um, now supposing, you might want to label these points, so supposing I call this negative 3, 1, this the first set, so this is x1, and that's y1, so I know where to put those points, and here is x2, and this y is y2, okay, so I'm just going to put those into here, okay, so y2 is a negative 5, okay, so negative 5. I'm going to take away, I'm taking away y1, which is the 1 over there, okay? Right, the x2 is a 4, that's on the bottom. And I'm subtracting, well, I'm subtracting, I'm subtracting x1, and that is negative 3. So watch it, you know, that negative that's there first is already part of the equation. Negative here, negative 3 is the number I'm subtracting from that 4. So watch your double negatives, because this is going to give you negative 6 sevenths, okay? And that is the slope between these two points. Right, so I've got a slope. So, right, negative six over seven. Okay, so let's go back to the original question. I can now add this to everything. Right, it also has a slope of negative six sevenths. Okay, so great, I've now got that extra piece of information for the question. Now, when you're doing this, you only remember, you only need one point, so just pick whichever one you want to. Both of those are a little bit, they're not very nice. So, I will think I'll just take this one. Now, Remember now, you can do like we did in the previous video, you can either stick these numbers into y equals mx plus b, and you're finding the b, the y-intercept, or you can try the slope-intercept, not slope-intercept, sorry, the point-slope equation. Remember that y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. Have a look at the previous video. I'm just going to stick these numbers into y equals mx plus b. Okay, y equals mx plus b. Right, okay, and I'll use, uh, like I say, these points here. So, y is 1, and that equals, what's the slope? It's negative 6 sevenths, that's what I found, okay? Uh, what's x? It's negative 3. And I've still got plus b, okay? There we go. So, bit of fraction stuff here, I've still got 1. But what's negative 6 sevenths times negative 3? Well, for a start, two negatives make it positive. If you want to write this 3 as 3 over 1, the numerator, 6 times 3 is 18. Denominator, 7 times 1 is 7. And I've still got plus b. Okay? So remember, two negatives, that's positive 18 sevenths. Right, so to get to the b, I'm going to have to subtract that 18 sevenths from both sides. And this is where the problem seems to come in. It's not that people don't get this. It's they've totally lost their fraction uh, knowledge. So I'm going to take away 18 sevenths from both sides. Take away 18 sevenths from here. So can you see that what I'm actually doing to find the b, because of course that will go, remember, is I'm going to do 1 take away 18 sevenths. And here's the problems, okay? Right, so 1 take away 18 sevenths. Okay, what does that equal? Well, we've got to find a common denominator. 1 is 1 over 1, isn't it? So what's the common denominator of 1 and 7? It's 7. Okay, so you've got to know that one. So I'm going to have something over 7 minus something else over 7. Well, of course, that 18 over 7 is not going to change. Okay, that already is 18. I already know what the numerator for that is. But if multiplied by 7 for the denominator, multiply by 7 for the numerator, that will give me 7 there as well. 1 over 1 is the same as 7 over 7. Now do the subtraction. Okay, so what is 7? Oh, flies. 7 take away 18. Okay, common denominator is 7. Or 18 take away 7, but it's negative. That is negative 11 sevenths. So negative 11 sevenths. Now remember what I found there? I've just found B. That's what the y-intercept is, all right? 0, comma, negative 11 sevenths. I don't need the 0 to put into the equation, but that's what the point would be. 
So here's the final answer then. Y equals what was the slope, remember? Negative 6 sevenths, all right? That's the thing that goes next to the X. And then what's the Y intercept? There it is, negative 11 sevenths. And that, folks, is the answer. Not very nice, but you just went through pretty much the same thing in the last question. It's just the slope was not as nice. But that's it, okay? So remember, you've got to find the slope by using y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Once you've used it, just use that. Remember, I found it up here, okay? And one of the points, and this one, you know, throw it in, try the uh, point slope form if you want to. You will get the same answer. Anyway, good luck on fractions.